Hello and welcome to Dixie's Storytime World. If this is your first visit to my channel and you want to stay up to date on all my new videos, ask a parent or a grown-up to click on the big red subscribe button. Princess Time, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. One winter's day, a baby girl was born to a king and queen. She was very pretty, with skin as white as snow and lips as red as blood. She was named Snow White before her mother sadly died. The king remarried, but his new queen was unkind and vain. She had a magic mirror, to which she would say, Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? You, O oh queen, are the fairest of them all. Many years later, when Snow White was sixteen, the queen asked the same question, and the mirror replied, You, O oh queen, are very fair, but Snow White is now the fairest. The queen was absolutely furious. She ordered a huntsman to find her stepdaughter and kill her. The huntsman took Snow White into the forest, but he could not bring himself to do the wicked deed. Instead, he told Snow White to flee and went back to the queen, pretending he had carried out her wishes. Run away, Snow White, and never come back, he had told her. Snow White ran and ran until evening began to fall, when she stumbled across a little cottage. I wonder if anyone is home, said Snow White. She walked up the path and tried the door, and to Snow White's surprise, it opened. She went inside the cottage to see if anyone was there. Everything inside was very small and neat. Against the wall stood seven little beds. Snow White sank down on one and soon fell fast asleep. Later that night, the owners of the cottage came back. There were seven dwarfs who had been mining in the mountains for jewels. When Snow White awoke, she explained to the dwarfs what had happened. They kindly said, You are very welcome to stay here with us. While the dwarfs went out to work, Snow White looked after the cottage. Each day they warned her to beware of her stepmother. But one day, months later, the magic mirror told the evil queen that Snow White was still alive. Snow White is in the forest! The queen set out to look for Snow White, disguised as an old woman. She took with her an apple that was poisoned on one side. Eventually, the queen found the dwarf's cottage and called out to Snow White, Apples for sale! Delicious, juicy, sweet apples! No, thank you, said Snow White, but the queen wouldn't take no for an answer. She cut off a piece from the green half of the apple. Look, I will eat some first. It is quite safe. Snow White was hungry. So she took the apple, taking a bite from the rosy red side. Straight away, she fell down, as if dead. When the dwarfs came home and found Snow White, they hugged each other and wept. They made a glass coffin for Snow White. Very strangely, she always looked as if she had just fallen asleep. One day, a prince came riding past. He stopped to look at Snow White, but as he leaned closer, he knocked the coffin. The poison apple fell from her mouth, and she awoke. The prince took Snow White to his palace to recover, and they soon fell in love. The dwarves were the guests of honour at the wedding. Congratulations! Meanwhile, the evil queen asked a mirror one last time, Who is the fairest of them all? And when she heard the answer, Snow White, she burst into flames, and Snow White and the prince lived happily ever after. The end. Thank you for listening. I'll see you soon in the next video.